her maze. And home, you guys. You guys thought we thought that I would be in a hospital tonight. But it looks like the Lord has other plans for me tonight. Um, if you watch you my... Take that drink. Which drink? Remember? Which... The drink that says fighting cancer. Fighting cancer. <laughs> I know. You didn't save me one of those. Yeah. There's one in the fridge. That says fighting cancer on it? Oh. It has ninja. Oh, okay. I'll have to get it. Drink it. Um... Yeah, so if you guys saw my live earlier today, um, you saw that we, um, you just don't know. With cancer, you just don't, like, you're not in control of anything, literally. That's why everyone's cancer treatments are so different. Um, but before we go into that today, um, my name's Tia Stokes, if you're new here. I am I'm 34 years old. I'm a mother of five, major legend. Maze. And Maze is me right here. Uh-huh. Taz and Rose. And I'm married to the handsome Andrew Stokes that you guys got to listen to last night. He's amazing. My husband is amazing. So, and if you didn't get to listen to his vlog last night, you should go and listen to it because it was really, really, really good. He's, I'm like scared to get on here after him because he's so amazing. <laughs> his message and his words were so good. So... Yes, and smash that like button. That is right. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Um, and, yeah, and if you're new, be sure to subscribe to our family here. And my mom, she is on the other side. So she loved my lives, and she loved um, hearing where everybody was from. So while you're in the mom, chat, make sure mom. tonight you let us know mom. where you are from. Mom, remember when you... When when we were all cutting our hair at Tinkview. Yeah. Remember when you said that your mom flew right under your armpit? Uh-huh. He did. Wait, was it a white bird? A black bird? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that <gasps> was cool. Your mom was a bird. <laughs> and before we talk about our day, um, Maze has... A joke for us, Mace. You want to tell the joke? After one thing. Bum, bum, bum. Okay. Now I'm ready. Tell me when to say the joke. Oh, you want them to give you a drum roll? Mm -hmm. Drum roll, please, everybody. Drum roll. Maze is waiting uh, for a drum roll and some thumbs ups. Okay, now I'm going to tell you. How do you make friends with a squirrel? Dun, dun, dun. How? Is that my name? Is that my name? Yeah, they're saying how. Oh, this is how you do it. You pretend to be a nut. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Oh, that was man. good, Maze. I love that joke. That was a good joke. And I know just the thing that you could pretend to be a nut. What? How? How do you pretend? A nut costume. A nut costume. <laughs> and then the squirrel goes, Oh, it's all what I've been dreaming. <laughs> then you can tuck your head in and tuck your arms and tuck your egg, your legs. And then you get, and then you hide in the tree. <laughs> That's how you become a nut, everybody. Okay? So make sure everybody knows that. And. Take your lessons from Maze, because he knows. Um, yeah, so today, we got all ready. We got all emotionally ready and pumped up to start round three. Um, and if you've done this before, then you know that this takes a lot of pumping up. And um, you guys saw me last night. I was an emotional mess going into round three. Uh, just because of, like, all the, you know, just knowing through already I've been through so much just in the last two rounds that um, I was just preparing myself mentally and emotionally and physically and just you know all night just like trying to prepare myself and so I pumped myself up and I was excited for today um, ready to attack it ready to go because that just meant Andy kept telling Wait. me that it was just one one step closer to being done, you know, 
We're one day closer to being done. Not, um, um, yes. <laughs> you hey, know. Can I tell you my other okay. joke? Okay, hurry. Um, Go ahead. After you finish. Okay, talking. at the end of the thing, okay? Um, so I was all pumped up and ready to go, and we went this morning at 7.30, and they took my blood work, they changed my dressing, um, and they, uh, yeah, my platelets were low. So I, Wait, as you guys know, if you've been watching my TikTok vlogs and all my, um, and my vlogging every night, I've been getting platelet transfusions every night. Um, pretty much every day since I've been home from the hospital. And so um, I got a platelet transfusion yesterday. And then that member that took like six hours. And so when I went in today, my platelets were only at like 40. And I guess in order for me to start to start um, the chemo, they want my platelets to be at 75. And that is like, oh, so I'm a far long ways away. And they didn't want my, they didn't want me to be on transfusions. So they want my platelets to be just normally by themselves producing bone ma in the, my bone marrow by itself, you know, not getting transfusions. So it was just kind of a bummer just because I just, I didn't get it done. You know, like I pumped myself up. I went through all the emotional stuff yesterday. I was an emotional mess yesterday. I was crying and had my blessing and everything and then just to be told that like I wasn't going to start today was just like just it's just a setback because obviously it's going to make everything longer it's going to make our whole process longer um and I just yeah it, so yeah I mean I'm going to be honest with you guys I was bummed out I was bummed I was um just frustrated I came home and I just kind of cried and laid in my bed and just like bummed out I just want to be and I got a trap burn today, I just want I to be moving forward with this after it's so hard <laughs> like I was talking to my nurse Kate today and she's like Tia you have been through so much like every round the two rounds so far have just been so hard on my body and I've been through so much with every round from you know the throw ups to the mouth sores to the rashes to the petechiae to the no appetite to I mean to the headaches to the the rag rigors to losing my function you know and my neurological abilities that it's just been yeah it's just a roller coaster so anyways this is that we are not in control and all we can control is our attitude. Again, I'm once again reminded that I can only control my attitude and being um, positive and, you know, it's okay to be sad about it and it's okay to feel my feelings. But honestly, this journey is teaching me just to be grateful and to be grateful for the moments that I'm getting to be home with my kids, <laughs> that I get to be home with my kids more week. Um, and there's a reason why I might not see it right now. You know, I might not see it. And that's the thing sometimes with life is we might not always see it right now. Like today, I'll be honest. I don't really see it right now. Why, what, why God is having me start my treatments a week later. And I don't even know if I'm going to start a week later because on Thursday, they're going to check my, um, uh, blood again. And on Thursday, they're going to check my blood work and they're going to see where my platelets are today. So, I mean, on Thursday, sorry. On Thursday, they're going to see where my platelets are. And if my platelets are still low, then they're going to do, do order a bone marrow biopsy to see it, what the heck is going on with my bone marrow. So see if my bone marrow is just taking a sweet, sweet time or if it's or if it needs help. I don't know. Like I, I was trying to ask the nurses today and, you know, they're like, well, you know, if your bone marrow is not producing platelets then you know we'll just have to find another way and another treatment and so I don't I don't know what happens like all my mind keeps going is to like, transplant like crap am I gonna need a transplant transplant and I don't know why I keep feeling like that but like I pray that I don't I pray that I don't I won't need a transplant I pray that my my bone marrow will 
produce platelets and it is just the chemo that's making it slow on producing, you know, because I really don't want to have a bone marrow transplant. So, and right now I don't. And I'm just praying that my bone marrow will produce platelets on its own and that um, I can do, um, start my treatment on Monday. So, that I'm asking that we all pray for and and that we can be able to keep going on with this journey, you know, as hopefully. But like I said, the Lord has a plan for everything and his plan is always the right plan, no matter what. It might not be our plan and we might not see it right now at the moment. We might not see it um, in this time, but... He has a plan, and I know he does, and I know that um, he will answer our prayers, and he will, um, I, tonight I asked Andy, I'm like, what are some, what are some foods that I can eat that will help my body, <laughs> that will help me produce platelets, so if you guys know of any foods or anything that will help my body produce platelets on its own, send them my way, um, maybe I'll start eating more beet juice, and again, <laughs> but just never lose doubt. If you guys are ever in the same situation as I am, you know, um, or not in what I am, but in any situation where it might not go according to plans that you thought, just know that have faith that the Lord has a plan and that um, we might not see it right now, but we have faith and hope in his plan no matter what. And that um, it's always perfect, you know? It's always perfect. His plan is always perfect no matter what. And I believe in that so much. So I'm filling all the fills today. I'm going to um, watch me and Andy have rented a movie. So we're going to go rent, watch a movie. Forgot your wallet? Andy's right here. Yeah, show us some dub C. There's Andrew, guys. Hi. <laughs> Did you forget your wallet? Nope. That was really fast. <laughs> you didn't get any water retaining treats? <laughs> Andy's gonna play you guys his rapid music. Hello. Good, how are you? Hi. Feeling great. I'm going great. One day at a time. I'm going great. One day at a time. I'm going great. That's all we can do. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Say hi. Hi. Cute Taz. Look at my toys. Welcome to Andy's rap music, guys. See my husband, you guys? He's a gangster. <laughs> aye, aye. It's my husband. See? He's a little bit of everything. He's very spiritual, and then he's a, a little a little gangster on the side. <laughs> That's my husband. Um, he's amazing. But anyways, you guys, just have, have faith in the plan. That's all we can do is that they have faith in the plan so i've cried my eyes out today andy's had to deal with me and i'm just gonna keep being strong and have faith in his plan that we might not always see why we're not getting the answers we want we might not always see why we're not getting the timing we want but all we know is that his timing is always perfect so Maybe this week something's going to happen and we're going to be like, oh, duh, okay, we see, why, all right. So, I love you guys so, so much and so grateful for all of you. Andy, you have any? Tia should do a TikTok to Dub C. <laughs> yeah. That's it? Yep. See, sometimes he's inspirational. 
<laughs> He's amazing. And today is my my best friend's birthday. And so we actually pulled off a surprise birthday party for her tonight. I planned a surprise birthday party for her um, with my sister and dancers and all of our family and friends. And they're all at the studio right now having a blast and they're playing um it was so awesome you guys you guys need to go watch the live tanya did but i made up this whole thing to cambria tonight i like called her i was like the landlord's like upset she's so mad at us and the fire inspection needs to come and inspect the studio and oh my gosh there's so much drama and and so i created this story and then cambria went to the studio and um she was surprised she had a big old surprise party waiting for her and i'm so happy that she got a surprise and she felt loved um and so that was the up of, that was the highlight of my day that was the highlight of my day is planning cam's surprise party and we actually pulled it off we pulled off a surprise party in cambria and we were able to pull it off from orem while during cancer so <laughs> It was so stinking awesome. So that's another note of the day is that not every day is horrible. And just because something upsetting happens in one day doesn't mean that there aren't good things in the day. There still isn't. There's always something good in every day. You know what I mean? So you might have a crappy situation in a day, but doesn't mean the whole day is bad. And it doesn't mean your life is bad. It doesn't mean everything is ruined. There's still good things in a day. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes one thing happens that's bad in a day and we just get so focused on that, that everything else becomes bad and everything is horrible and everything is awful. And oh my gosh, my life is coming to an end. But honestly, there's so like, there's 24 hours in a day that there's so much good that happens too. So like we always talk about, focus on the highlights, focus on the good. Focus on the good the good moments. Hi. Fill, those, fill those moments of sadness for a little bit, but then remember that there's always something good in a day. Always something good in a day. And for me today, my highlight was Cam's birthday party and pulling off our surprise party for Cam. So I love you guys. Thank you for being here. I'm going to go watch a movie with Andy and find something to eat. And... I'm so grateful for all of you, and tonight I want you guys, I'm going to go put up my highlight post um, in my stories on Instagram, and I want to hear everybody's highlight of their day, or you can leave it in the comments below, and I'd love to hear what was good in your day, all right? Because every day, there's a good thing in every day, I promise you, I, I promise you, I love you guys. Okay, Taz, you want to give our prayer tonight? Okay, Taz is going to leave us with our prayer. Say, Dear Heavenly Father. Thank you for this day. Thank you. Day. Say thank you for all that we have. Thank you. Day. Say thank you for our Jesus. Thank you. Day. Say thank you for our family. Thank you. Father. Say thank you for everyone who's praying. Thank you. Thank you for all the good people. people. Thank you for all those that love us and take care of us. Okay. And we are so thankful. Thankful. And we love thee so very much. I, 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 Please bless all the children. Susan. Name of Jesus Christ. Uh, amen. Amen. Thank you. Amen. We love you guys. Okay, don't forget to let me know. Give me your highlight in the comments, or you can put them in my stories on Instagram. But remember, every day, no matter the day, no matter how awful that hour was, or that two hours, or whatever, there's always good in a day. I love you. Aloha means hello, goodbye, and I love you. Love you. Good night.